hello hello guys uh here we have a samsung laptop it's not turning on at all uh let's take this board apart and let's see what is causing the issue on this samsung laptop okay guys uh here we have a motherboard but you can see someone was working on this board before there is flaxy all over anyway uh let me just be real realistic i don't like uh, such uh, such uh, jobs hope you can see this flags all over the board mm. anyway i think before before i do anything else i have to clean this board because uh, there's flags all over i hate to work uh, with such boards okay guys now we have the board here it needs clean there is no more flaxy it's uh it's neat step number one check your charger of which in my case i'm using a dc bench power supply i'll be using these pins there's nothing wrong with my with my 19 volts anyway let's go back again uh do a physical inspection i did the physical inspection and i didn't see anything suspicious except that the board was horribly dirty filled with flaxy and i cleaned the whole board now it's neat and uh, it's ready step number three check your 19 volts anyway let's go ahead let's check our 19 volts how do i check my 19 volts connect your charger here i mean your charging port here i will start from there from the charging from the charging port connect your positive there and then you connect your your 19 volts i mean you you drowned to drowned all right there we are now what do you do next you take your multimeter and then you switch it into a range of uh, of up to 20 volts dc okay turn on your power supply one prop to ground let's check our 19 volts we do have the 19 volts coming from there from the charger now let's trace it let's trace the two mosfets uh, as you can see here we don't have those two mosfets the one we have here they are the charging mosfets remember the only best way to trace the 19 volts you have to see a current center there should be a current center after those two mosfets they should be what a current center now let's uh, let's rotate this. let's flip the board over and check on the other side of the board all right guys there we are now where's our 19 volts it's here i can see those uh okay let me just show it to you under the microscope i want you to have a clear and a better understanding okay guys there we are we have uh the two mosfets after the two mosfets uh we do have the current center let me point it out to you this is the first mosfet and the second mosfet after the second mosfet what there should be a current center this is a, a current a current center and it's always there the same the same value okay now let's check from here and then here and then here let's start on the on the first mosfet uh i think i should switch back to to a camera mode so that you will see okay we do have 19 on the first mosfet i know you can see um anyway i can see a faulty here let's uh let's rotate our cam because you can't see it clearly you can see but things are vice versa yep now you can see clearly let's go ahead let's check let's test again 19.1 now let's check the second mosfet 0 0.0.8 0 .0 now let's check the current center 0 0.0.8 the problem is here on the first mosfet the input of the first mosfet it's 19 volts but the output is 0. 0.8 uh let's go back to 
to a microscope i want you to see everything guys i'm here to spoil you this is how i was checking for the 19 volt i press here and i was getting 19 volts and then you touch on the other side of the board here i was getting sorry about that here i was getting zero point uh, okay sorry sorry okay let me just do this okay here i'm getting zero point zero point eight 0 0.0.8 0 .0 volts and here getting 0 0.8 volts and here on the current center i'm getting 0 0.8 volts so the problem is here after after the the, the first mosfet okay so what do we do i just turn off my power supply what do we do let's switch to a uh, continuity mode on the multimeter let's check for shorts i want to see if maybe there's a short there's no short there's no short there's no short at all okay guys here i have a donor bot and remember uh, uh, uh the mosfet that we want to to replace here it's an n channel mosfet mm, let me show it to you there it is uh, the number is 7410 the zero is an even number so it means this is an an n channel mosfet so we need to find a replacement another n channel mosfet uh let me check here okay guys i have a, a bunch of uh, mosfets here but now i'm not sure about the number so this is what you do if you are not sure about the number uh let me see if i can show it to you under the microscope i'm not sure if you will see this number or not oh yeah you can see this number it's 24 okay let's let's start with the above one it's m 304 m let me repeat again it's m 300 for m let's try okay there it is m 300 for m mosfet okay yeah i see uh it's an n channel mosfet that can take up to 80 volts and uh, fast switching mosfet this is the one there's no need to to go and this is what you do you take the the guy out easy 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 this is a, 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 a donor board so yeah we don't give it them. This is out. Let's put a new guy. Okay, this is perfect uh I, I like to clean where i was working let's use alcohol to clean like everything but first i want to check this guy remember the, this small guy here uh okay let me put my meter here remember this guy here mm, let's check this is the one i removed from this is the first mosfet i removed from the port okay see when i reverse the probe it's not reading of which it's okay it's good now let's reverse the probe oh okay it's working it's working 100 percent Okay, now how do i switch it off hey you switch off okay now it's off oh, no this mosfet is working as well it means the problem it wasn't the mosfet but we can go ahead give it a try but i know 
multimeter it doesn't lie it doesn't lie so let's see now i'm disappointed because the mosfet that we removed it's working i just tested it now it's working 100 mm, percent now what do i connect connect the power supply before the power supply let's connect the power button Okay, yep. That the power button. What's next? Mm. Connect uh, positive here at the 19 volts. And then let's connect the, the ground. Now let's press the power button. okay this is not turning on it means still we are missing missing the 19 volts or unless if i connected the power button at the wrong wrong place okay let's connect the power button here now let's see let's press the power button okay still it's doing the same it's doing the same thing means we are still missing missing the 19 volts it's okay don't give up uh, don't give up don't give up don't give up let's see now let's connect the child the, 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 the power supply check your multimeter put it into a range of up to 20 volts <laughs> What you do is now you check your current sensor. Still we are missing. We are missing the 19 volts from there from the current sensor. Means our problem. Still it's not yet been been solved. And now I'm just wondering you know what to do without a waste of time let's go ahead let's jump <laughs> let's jump the mosfet i was gonna do it proper with the help of a schematic but i don't have the schematic so that's why i won't waste any time i'm just gonna go ahead and then and then jump the mosfet because i don't know okay guys so what i did here uh, I used so I melted the soldering wire here and removed the MOSFET and then I soldered the, the soldering wire here because the problem was not the MOSFET. I did check the MOSFET, the problem was not the MOSFET. Uh, so, yeah, let's try this method. I didn't want to jump this MOSFET, but the problem is I don't have the I don't have the schematic for this board, so it will be very 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 hard to know which resistors here on the charging chip uh, are responsible for activating uh, for activating the the gate uh, the gate here. Okay, guys. Now let's uh, let's test the board okay turn off the microscope hope you can see the fan remember what i did here i jumped uh i jumped the the mosfet right the first mosfet so let's see if it's turning on or not and if it's not turning on it's okay we will go ahead and check everything step by step nothing is taking power from there from the power supply it's turning on but the fan is not spinning 
y is taking uh, 64 uh, 600 milliamps okay there you go the fan is spinning and it's taking seven oh okay anyway i'm happy uh the pod is working uh the problem here let me explain again one more time the problem was the was the first mosfet and i'm gonna explain what i did uh, to solve this issue okay there we are the problem here was the was the first was the first uh mosfet it wasn't allowing power to to pass by now here we do have 19 all over circulating over over the board anyway guys before i go don't forget to press the the subscribe button